Hi, welcome to my Automate Like a Pro series. Today I'm going to teach you how you can create an automation that turns on all the devices within a specific room at a specific time, but also makes it possible to turn them on and off manually with a button. Let's do it! Hi, I'm going to teach you today how you can create an automation that turns on all the devices in a specific room automatically, but also with a button so that you can turn on them manually. In my case, I have an office and I start working at 8.30 during weekdays in that office and I want all my devices to be on at 8.30. Uh, for example, I want to turn on all the devices with a smart plug, I want to turn on my uh, air purifier, and my heating and I also have lights in that office and I have a motion sensor. To do this in Home Assistant there are a couple of steps that you have to take and I'm going to show you now. Let's first create a couple of helpers. Local configuration, helpers. I already created two helpers that we are going to use. One is called Power Office and the, one, and the other one is called Office Automation Active. They are both Boolean helpers. So if you click on Add Helper, you can select the toggle helper and that's the one that you need. I already created them. So the Power Office helper is the helper that switches on and off uh, the power in the office. And the Office Automation Active helper is actually a switch that makes sure that the automation will run yes or no because during holidays you don't want to turn on all the devices in your office so that's what this one is for so first create these two helpers then we are going to create three automations the automations i already created them i created three automations here office turn off Office turn on and turn on office on weekdays. So let's dive into the third one. Turn on office on weekdays. It has a name, mode is single, and now what are the triggers? I want this automation to trigger at 8.30 in the morning. But I also want to only trigger them when I'm at home. So I'm first going to add a condition, a state condition, person smart home junkie, state is home. So if I'm home, you can trigger this automation. But not only that, you also want to trigger them only on weekdays. So there's another condition, a time condition, and that says you may only trigger on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And there's another condition, and that one checks the helper that we just created, Office Automation Active, if it's on. So if that helper is on, then you can trigger this automation too. And what will it do then? Well, normally you would say, turn on all the devices that we uh, want to turn on. But I'm not doing that because I also want uh, to use a button to uh, turn on all the devices in my office. So what I'm saying here is I'm calling a service, input boolean turn on, and I'm turning on the power office helper. So that office helper is sent from off to on. That's the only thing that this automation does. Now let's dive into the other automations. There's the power office turn on automation. Let's edit that one. You can see it has a name again, so mode single. And this one triggers on the state input boolean power office, which I set in the other automation from off to on. So the state is, has been set to on in the other automation and then this automation runs and what this automation does at that moment is that it will power on all the devices. So I have my studio equipment, turn on studio equipment, which is a smart plug. I'm going to call a service set temperature, so I'm going to set my front office uh, heater to 20 degrees. I have another plug which I turn on, which is my air purifier. And I'm going to set the temperature of my back office heater also to 20 degrees. So that's what this automation does. It basically turns on all the devices 
if the input boolean power office helper is switched from off to on. And then we have another one, the power office turn off. We added that one. Again, a name description, mode single. This goes the other way around. So it's saying the state input boolean power office is turning from on to off. Then it will turn off everything. So it turns off the studio equipment, smart plug. It turns off my other smart plug for my air purifier. It sets the temperature to 15 degrees in front office and to 15 degrees in back office. And it turns off the lights in my office. I have front office lights, back office lights, and I have a LED strip in my office. So you may wonder why I'm turning off the lights here. And with the other automation, I do not turn it on. But the other automation doesn't really need to turn it on because I have a motion sensor in my uh, in my room. And that motion sensor makes sure that the lights turn on when I enter the office. So I save a little bit of energy by turning the lights off with the button. Because this automation is basically triggered by a button. Well, it is triggered on the input boolean power office from on to off, but it's a button that I'm using for that. You can also use another automation for that, but I'm using a button for it. So these are the three automations that you have to create. So what you now have is an automation that automatically turns on the office every weekday at 8.30. But I also want to add a button. And for that, I'm going to add a custom button. I'm not going to use the default button of Home Assistant, but I'm going to use a custom button because I want to do something with colors. And for that, you need hacks. And if you don't have hacks, install it first. It's in the description below where you can uh, find the video on installing hacks. And in hacks, I have some front end add ons. And one of the add-ons that I installed in Hex is Button Card. So make sure you install Button Card first in Hex, and then come back to this video. So for this, I already created the Tutorials Lovelace dashboard, and I'm going to add this dashboard. Edit dashboard, and I'm going to add a card here. I'm going to add a button card, but I'm not going to add the default button card of Home Assistant. I'm going to add a custom card. And for that, I have to scroll down all the way down to manual and click on it. And I prepared a little bit already here. So I'm going to paste the code here for this button. You can put the video on pause now and type this over, or you can copy this code from my GitHub page. I'm going to explain what, uh, what's happening here. So the type is custom button card, which is the custom button card that I installed with Hex. And this card has effect on the input boolean power office, which is the helper that we defined. So every time when I push this uh, button, it will switch from on to off to on to off, etc. The default color is gray, and I'm going to say I don't want to see the state of this button. I can show you if I say that this is true, then you see that the state is on. But I want to do that with a color, which I like more. False, give it the name office, icon is MDI power, which is this icon. And here is the state value. So if the state value is on, then show the color lawn green. And if it's off, then make it gray. If I click this now, you see that now the color is gray and that the uh, devices in my office are turned off. And if I turn it on again, then it will turn to lawn green and the devices will turn on. I'm going to save this. So now I have this button. And I have to do one more thing. I'm going to add another card and it's an entities card. Let's fill some default things here. So let's remove this. I'm going to enter the entity office automation active. This is my other helper. If I save this, what I can do now is that I can 
uh, enable or disable my automation. So if I'm toggling this button, now my automation is disabled. So Office Automation Active is now set to off, which means that the automation that runs every morning will not run because this thing is off. And if I turn it on again, it will run every morning during weekdays. So now I have created an automation that automatically turns on all the devices in my office and that I can also turn on and off manually with this button. There's one more step that I'd like to take because now I created two cards and I can combine these two in one card because Home Assistant has the possibility to add headers and footers to cards nowadays. So for that I'm going to edit this again. Dashboard. I'm going to copy this code here. And now I'm going to edit the Entities card and as you can see the Entities card has a header and a footer option. I'm going to add a header plus buttons and now um, this is a bit strange behavior I think it's a bug but you know this works for me so the cursor is now bef uh, just before the T and if I press the delete button then it changes the code here and now I'm copying the code below header and I'm pasting the code of the uh, button now I'm selecting this, press tab one more time so the indentation is right. I'm going to save this. And as you can see now, I created one card with the button and with the option to enable or disable the automation that belongs to this button. So let's just delete this one. Delete. Now you have an automation that turns on all the devices in your office automatically during weekdays and you can turn them on and off manually with a button. So yeah, I hope you learned something from this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, maybe share the video and bye bye.